Okay, so this is the pelvis. This is a male's pelvis, and this is a female's pelvis. And the reason why you can tell the difference is because, well, first of all, the, the female's is larger. Also, right here, there's a U-shape, and right here, there's a V-shape. This is obviously better uh, to give birth to a baby. There's more space. So that's the difference between the male and the female. Okay, so right here, we have the sacrum. Down here, we have the coccyx. Um, right here is the ilium. This area right here is the pubis. This is the ischium. And these three all make up the os coccy. Okay, now right here, we have the ischiopubic ramus. A ramus means flat area, and it's in between the pubis and the ischium. Right here, we have the pubic symphysis. Right here, we have the subpubic angle. Here's the obturator foramen. Here's the pubic tubercle. It's a little protrusion right here, a little bump. This whole thing right here makes up the acetabulum. Um, here's the ischial spine. It's hard to see. You have to look at it like at a, a superior angle. And this is the ischial spine. Right here is the anterior inferior iliac spine. Up here is the anterior superior iliac spine. Uh, this is the iliac crest. Um, right here is the posterior superior iliac spine. And this whole area makes up the true pelvis. This all makes up the false pelvis. And where the true and the false pelvis meet is the pelvic rim. This area is also known as the pelvic inlet. And if you flip it and look at it upside down, this area is known as the pelvic outlet. Now this is our pelvis of a female.